Hey there everyone, GameFox here. I have some bad news. This is just to preface something that's gonna be happening throughout the rest of the video. I lost my save file for Sort the Court, but I enjoy the series a lot and I wanna at least try and finish a few things in the game before I actually call it quits. So right now I'm trying to play back up to as much as I can following the same exact path that I took, which is hard to do in a randomly generated game. However, I did stop on this because we haven't gotten to the Dragon Blade in the other playthrough yet. The Dragon Blade is what the blacksmith makes to try and take care of the dragon. So he has the Dragon Blade now. I've purchased some top quality metals, but I'll need workers to help me do the crafting. Can you spare a few men? Well, yes, of course we can. This will help speed things up. I shall return to you with a magnificent blade, madam. That said, I'll pop in randomly for a little while until we get back to where I was initially. So I'll see you in a bit. One thing I do have to say is that we're, we're generating more people faster. And I think that's because my happiness is higher than it was before. So there's that. All right, we've got our blacksmith back. It's finally done. I finished crafting the dragon blade. Now all we need is somebody to wield it. I'll leave this here with you and spread the word to our heroes. If they wish to take up the blade, I'll send he them here to you. Uh -huh. Oh boy, oh boy. That's a big blade, that's a big sword, that's huge. Ah, the dragon blade lies useless without a master. Some are beginning to lose hope that the dragon will never be slain. It's been one day. Another thing is that Chester, we haven't had a, a cure for him yet. Hey, we got Yarno, oh good. I'm fairly certain this is less people than we had before though. Here's our first potential champion. Hey there, I heard you need a champion to wield the dragon blade. I'm pretty good with swords. I can take that thing and show for, and show our friend dragon a thing or two. I'm gonna say no, cause she's the sneaky thief. Oh, what is it? You don't trust me? No, I don't. Oh, this guy's coming back. He wants to expand his production funds. I shall need 400 gold or so. We didn't get this before. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The show will be a delight and a stone. Oh, ho, ho. oh my wallet. Oh, LD 3.4 is actually saying something different. I am going to leave the kingdom now to pursue my dream of becoming a game dev. Goodbye. All right, man, you make your dreams a reality. Oh, I got a cog. Maybe our paths cross again one day. Probably not, though. Take this cog to remember by. I've got plenty so you can have this one. That's cool. I mean, so far this run's going a lot better than the last one, but literally everything thus far has been the same. Aside from the fact that the dragon came earlier, little Timmy is asking for friends instead of money. The wizard hasn't shown up as much. The devil dressed up as an angel and the, yeah, the dragon came early. That's literally it. The jester dazzled that court with the display of acrobatics and theater, raising the spirits of all in attendance. This is going a lot better than last time. Here's the issue though. This tree requires a thousand gold and I only have 300. So I have to tell him no. Mm -mm. So that's another difference that's going to be in this playthrough. And I wish I could have done. I have gotten no opportunities for gold. Workers at a construction site arrived in the morning to find all the lumber stolen, setting back work back by weeks. Papers have been posted around the town, spreading news of destruction of the Western Forest. The people feel quite guilty about this. I I couldn't pay it. I had the wizard all throughout last time. I have none of him. I've seen him twice. Whoa, you're new, Mortimer. I'm lost the world, one of your measurements has been bothering me. I demand the villager as a sacrifice again. No, no, you don't get a villager's sacrifice. No, so, um, you're around me now, but I'm walking back. No! <laughs> no! Okay, we are getting to about the point that we were last time as far as people are concerned. There's a couple things that are going on. It's starting to kind of get a little rowdy. That's good. Okay, this I don't remember. I don't think we actually made it to a thousand before. I'm certain we did. Big news, our population has reached over a thousand. Be sure to find a happiness rating. The citizens expect the best of us. Uh, yeah, I really need to get that a lot higher. A caravan of mine wishes to camp in your city for the next few days. Might that be arranged? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes it can. We can do that, quite agreeable. We shall work together in the next... And she stayed up all night eating candies again. May she go to the doctor? Mm -hmm. Yes, you may go to the doctor. I don't remember what your voice is, what is there? All I know is, is that you had a lot of Z's in your accent. 
In a bounty of treasure! Yeah. Thank God we have money. A tree trunk led a protest in the square against woodland destruction. Guards had to be called in to settle things and they demand overtime pay. God, I had to say no to the tree. The Sultan's caravan is resting in town. Our citizens have been trading with them, producing a small amount of tax income. We still need a champion for the dragon blade and nobody's come up yet. Yeah, we'll take her. We'll take her, we'll take her. So long as she doesn't steal the damn thing. Wow, this sword is awesome. I'll sneak up on him and whoosh, he won't know what hit him. I haven't had to arrest her at all this time, though. The people are nervous about a common thief being chosen as the Dragon Blades champion, but they choose to be cautiously optimistic. That's what I didn't want. This whole series is just going down the drain. Get to be gazed by magical vampire crystal. Yes, sure. Why the hell not? Oh, good fame and fortune for me. I can live with it. I do believe I've perfected my show. Gold it does require, but happiness it shall bring. Oh, 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 700 gold. Oh my God. Yes, I'm gonna do it because I didn't get this option before. I am so dead. Oh, 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 this show will delight and astound. Oh. I have returned and not without cause. Prepare yourself for a protest of unimaginable proportions. I am rooted. I will not budge from this spot until you answer for your crimes against my people. Your workers have wounded our way of life. Things will never be the same in the forest. What do you say? Will you first at least admit to your countrymen's wrongdoing? I mean, yeah, I would have been fine with that in the first place. You, you will? As you should, wrongdoings indeed. To be perfectly transparent, I must admit I did not expect you to say that. I am not really sure where to go from here. Perhaps I will leave. I mean, leaf. Bud, get out of here. Maybe, maybe if you had asked me that in the first place, none of this would have freaking happened. Jesta continues to amaze the court with his combination of skill and his ever increasing special effects budget. The Sultan's caravan has left town. As a gesture of goodwill, they had left behind a small pouch of gold. Well, I'm happy that everybody's happy. <laughs> At least I'm making progress. As the city grows, we require more gold to continue expanding our infrastructure and increase our construction budget by 500. You guys are asking me of money when I don't have it. Our current budget leaves much to be desired. Well, you know what? If you had asked me that a long time ago, I might have had the money. <sighs> My lady, our city has grown so much that visitors become are becoming quest quite easily. Shall we devote more gold to hiring tour guides? Oh, thank God it was only 70. I was so concerned it was going to be over 100. I think the city is officially done. Like, I see no more anything being built in the background. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I certainly haven't had nearly half the things that I did last time happen. I'm very confused. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't had the scientists come up or anything. The prison is in need of repairs. Might there be room in the budget to devote a few hundred gold to it? There is unfortunately not. Hopefully the guys will be able to make do. Somebody's gonna escape. Madame, we are Madame, we are experiencing an esteemed visitor from the Celestial Kingdom. Shall we go about summoning the servants? Yes! Please repair the castle. I need to impress them a second time. <laughs> finally, I'm back, and I finally have some more magic for you. Would you like some? My apologies, I seem to have actually run out of good magic and I'm an actual asshole. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him in like 20 days. Oh, yes, and I'm bringing out in Cabbage Street. Shall we install a well? Yes, we have to. Ow, my wallet. Oh, this is so bad. Yes. I'm back. The dragon put up quite a fight, but I showed him what, what for in the face. Here's your share of the treasure. Yeah, your share. I'm keeping half. I did all the hard work. You know what? That's fine. Where's my sword? <laughs> Our road network is expanding and in need of maintenance. Is there room in the budget? As of right now, yes, there currently how is. Good, we must stop, but our roadway has fallen to disrepair. That's very true. We have made it to 1500. And it's building again. Okay, hey, we've got our we've got our lovely Pia from the Celestial Kingdom. Greetings, I am Pia from the Celestial Kingdom, and I'm back again to compliment you on your exquisite castle. But you know what? The Council of Crowns is actually looking for a fifth member. Are you interested? Always. Please, I'd like to get back here. Please send King Andromeda in to see me as soon as you can. Oh my, was that the woman from the Celestial Kingdom? This is so exciting. The King of the Council of Crowns is gonna be here soon. We've got a little I have some gold to offering to the Ocean Throne. You know what? I have to on this one. I've been saying no to the spirits because they require 200, but I know that hers is only 100. I'm back, I've had some adventure. Do you like making new friends? Yes, I do. Thank you. I'm surprised that this has gotten, I wonder what I can use that cog for. 
There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for you, but you gotta give me 10 gold because I wanna show those creeps what's for. Gossip is spreading about a heroic purple witch still slaying goblins in the lower quarter. She's becoming even more of a folk hero than she was before. Now see, why couldn't we hire her to do the slaying of the dragon? Why did the radio host suddenly become Skelly? <laughs> Sure, please bring me some money. The people are demanding a notorious criminal be exiled from the city. His crimes include theft, arson, and forgery. What do you see to his exile? Yes, get rid of him. I forgot that costed money. <laughs> I think that I finally recovered my magic. Would you like to actually have some good magic this time? Yes, I would. Uh, why do you suck? I apologies, I think I haven't recovered completely. Uh, magical vampire crystal, what do you got for me? Yes, magical vampire crystal comes through for me this time. There's been a brawl at the tavern. Should we arrest those responsible? Mm -hmm. Always. They have to abide by the law. So I'll have them arrested at once. Why did I even bother to come ask you about it? <laughs> I think I might actually be very charged this time. Do you want to give it another go? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, interesting. I actually was recharged. <laughs> I mean, of course I was. Of course I was. Ma'am says I need to ask permission to go on adventures. So can I have tea, tea? Of course. Yay, I'm so excited. I can't do that voice. My throat is fucking wrecked. I think I'm getting sick. My sales have brought in record profits, and I'd like to give you something as a thanks. Will you accept my gift? Please. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I might actually still be returned from the last time. Would you like to give it another try? Oh, yes. It went very well for you this time. I'll hope to see you again in the future. My sales are still bringing in record profits. Here, have some more money on me. Ha-ha. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! Okay, so things have things have gotten slightly less hectic. We're growing, man. We're growing. Make way for the for Lord King Andromedus of the Celestial Kingdom. So we saw this part last time. You don't always need to make such a fuss for my entrance is Pia. Anyways, yes. Hello, good queen. I've heard much about you and your people. We at the council are quite impressed with you and would love to induct you. There's just one small issue. All four of the existing council members must be present to induct a new member. And as it turns out, two people are having a squabble at the moment and can't seem to settle down because they don't understand what common decency is. If you could settle them down, I would be able to induct you. I might even be able to entrust you with power afterwards. I'll keep an eye out for the advisors from the Ocean and Plant Kingdom, madam! The one from the Ocean Kingdom's here. I'm sure we can settle whatever is troubling their queen! Might actually be able to do it. Oh, it's you! I don't you. I don't no. No. What am I supposed to do with him? Am I just supposed to say yes? My assistant and I have found a way to make some extra gold by trading sweets. Are you interested? Yes, please. Give me the money. Give me the money. I didn't know candy would make that much money. Yes, you may go to the party, young Jenkins. Please, go have some fun. One of us needs to. As the city continues to expand, I'd like to embark on a project that's a bit more ambitious. For a daily allowance of a hundred gold, a daily allowance of a hundred gold, my workers can begin the grueling task of remodeling our town's central plaza. This will surely elevate our city to new heights, though it may take several days to complete. What do you think? This is why we save gold. This is why we save gold. This is why we save gold. Good, good. I'll have the logistics and of the project finalized and will begin soon. The Mason Central Plaza renovation is progressing, bringing in more attention to the city's downtown area. Well, hooray, but I'm gonna lose 100 gold a day. I need to at least make 100 gold a day. Ah, uh, no, you cannot eat my people. Oh, it was so tempting at this point. Magical Vampire Crystal, of course, fuck. Not what I wanted. My sales are still bringing in record profits. Oh boy. Well, that's at least 40 of the 100. Come on. Guards, uh, confiscated that gold I found. Can I have it back? No. Nope. Mm -mm. That's for me. You're keeping it, but I still, I mean, found it. Of course you did. Of course you did. Give me 200 gold and I'll get, I will provide a large shipment of luxury goods. No, no, I don't, I have to, huh. The Mason Central Plaza renovation is still bringing attention to the downtown area and slowly robbing me of every piece of gold that I have. Heck. Heck. I also realized I'm recording this in 30 FPS and I should have been doing it in 60, I apologize. A petition to bring the circus in town is circulating. Yes, please bring it into town. It's gonna bring me lots of money. And I made the hundred dollars that I needed for today. Thank God. I made profit. <laughs> I might actually have some magic left in this old beard. Would you like to dig through it and try and find some? Yes. 
Thank you. Oh, I made profit today. I made a big profit today. Thank God. The Mason Central Plaza renovation is progressing still and bringing even more attention to the downtown area. The circus is in town also bringing joy to all those who visit and it brings in quite a nice bit of gold. I've got a business proposition for you in your tiny town. Are you interested? I am always interested with the details, but I'm not going to say yes or no. Right at this moment in time. The owners of the town are still making piles of gold, except 15 doesn't seem like a whole fucking lot right now. Yes, yeah, slay the goblins in the lower quarter. They need to be gone. I'm gonna regret it if I don't. And they're still pulling gold out of my bank account when they're building the renovations of the plaza. Great. But there's a party going on at the local tavern tonight and the citizens rejoice singing and dancing together into the night. With the circus also in town, it will continue to bring joy and gold into my pockets. And even a witch is slaying goblins still, becoming even more of a folk hero. We've earned a portion of the reward as a tax income on the bounty of the goblins. Oh my god, we have over 2,000! What are you? Good day. I am by the Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom. Recently, the boot has been raised between our queen and the Plank Kingdom. A plot of marshland has been discovered and must legally be marked as one of the kingdom's property, since the bosch contains water clearly belongs to the Ocean Queen. The Plant Queen refuses to listen to reason, however, and a death that should be hers. Will you support the claim for the marshland and help the Ocean Kingdom? No. Mm -mm. A marsh is not part of the ocean. Surely you do not believe the marsh will go to the Plant Kingdom instead. <laughs> we shall see about this. I'll be going there. I hope I did not just make a mistake. A Central Plaza restoration project is at last complete. Thank you for your patience, madam. Thank God it's done and I don't have to panic. Our downtown area has never looked so beautiful, I must say. You are a good mason. I'm glad I hired you. I've been asked by a warrior tribe of the south to supply a great number of weapons. Do I have your permission to supply them? I'll need extra gold. Mm. No. You're right. We should not be handing out weapons freely to those who might attack us. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Good job, blacksmith. Hello, my name is Advisor Ar Agaric. I represent the Plant Queen Chanterelle. We heard you like, we heard your announcement of the Ocean Kingdom in this matter of the marshland. As a land filled with grasses and plant life, that marsh rightfully belongs to the Plant Queen. Therefore, we are of course thrilled to have your support. I offer our thanks on behalf of the Plant Kingdom itself. Ain't that lovely? The circus is still in town, bringing joy to all those who come. The only thing I can imagine is that this is a different type of circus than the one that was here before. <laughs> I think I might actually have some real magic up inside my hat this time. Would you like to take a look? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Ah, uh, a spell of great fortune for you. Madame, a warrior tribe to the south has taken up arms against us. Their combat strength, however, is limited. I believe we can vanquish them with minimal additions to our arsenal. Might I request a modest sum of gold in which to organize our resistance? Yes, of course. That is exactly why I didn't say yes to the blacksmith in the Ow, first place. I'm sorry it has come to this, but we must now defend ourselves. Mostly figures are seen drifting around the graveyard. The spirits appear to have become angry. It's been like 30 days. 30, no, it's been like 40 days since I was first approached about the spirits and stuff. So, I mean, if she comes back now, I can give him an offer. An offer to you, friend. I would like to purchase a shipment of luxury goods for me for a fair price. Yeah, sure. Why not? Lost 15 happiness, but you know what? We got 300 gold out of that, and I can spare the happiness today for once it's up to my fucking shoes so apparently the 2000 mark was not a benchmark so i'm wondering if we get to 2500 the new high class the new class house housing district looks interesting but there's a lot of cool stuff to find there i think i could borrow the key to the upper district no not very trusting are you i mean i trusted you to slay the dragon and that was about it and you took your share of the gold and i don't need to give you anything else hey king andromedus Hello, good queen. It seems the trouble regarding the marshland has all been cleared up. Once Queen Chantereau realized she won, she was willing to split the marsh with the Ocean Kingdom. Sometimes a leader just needs a bit of respect, you know? Well, either way, your input helped us break the stalemate. Break to, break to the stalemate. And for that I am thankful. Now, as promised, your seat on the council. I'll have Pia make the final arrangements and inform you when we're ready to induct you. Thank you again for your assistance in this matter. I am much bigger than you. Madame, our guards have apprehended the girl trying to climb over the upper district gate. She was, has been fined for her actions. It's above my elbows. The money is above my elbows. 
Spooky spirits are haunting the city and they are spreading bad luck to the citizens. Hey, it's a scientist. Hello, hello. I am the scientist. I do science for you, Queen. You see, the city has grown and we have a science community now. But I think you already knew this because I introduced myself a while ago, but here we are. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Bye. Aha, uh -huh, that cog you have there. I wish to purchase it. Why? I have my, I have my reasons, good queen. Might I offer some of, say, 1,000 gold coins? That's why it's there. A good deal for us both, I do believe. It's above my crown. It's piled over my neck. Okay, you know what? Fine, have a sacrifice. I've got plenty of people. You can take the one. Remember, let's slide then this time. Money! The money! Would you like to purchase any swords from your guards? I think I can freaking afford it, blacksmith. I think I can. If the circus guy comes back into town, I ain't complaining. Merchants are scared to visit the town because of rumors of hauntings. This is due to a loss. This is lost to some trade profits. It's hit the top of the screen. The spirits cry out. They are angered. We must make a sizable offering to put ourselves back in their favor. Take at least a thousand gold. <laughs> I mean. It was nice while it lasted. It will be done. In the future, we should s make smaller donations to the spirits to avoid their wrath before it begins. I would have if I could have at the time. We only need seven more people. Only seven more people to get it done. Yes, you may raise your prices. I want that money over my ears. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Frick, yes. Good day, madame. We are ready to officially induct you into the Council of Crowns. I just hit 2,500 too, so... There are a few formalities to observe. I can skip over those and give you the short version? Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. Phew, thanks. It really doesn't matter, and this way it won't end up losing my voice. All right, gather around, everybody. I am an advisor... I am advisor Cel Celestial... I am an advisor, Celestial Kingdom, Queens, blah, blah, blah. You're a queen too. You are a good queen. We're inviting you, you're accepting, and it's all very well and good. On behalf of the Council of Crowns, I now pronounce you a crowned queen. All right, we're done. You're in. Now that you're a part of the... That was very lackluster. Now that you're a part of the Council of Representatives from the Kingdoms, the Kingdoms may come to you for help. Please make sure you do your best to assist them. And sincerely, congratulations. The Council is the highest rank to which a queen can rise. I think I did it. <laughs> we'll have some more magic for you. Thank you. And it's good magic. <laughs> it's good magic. It's so close to my face. Now we're just gonna rake in the money from here. People love us. We're doing great. We're doing grand. Yes, we'd like to purchase some swords for our well-protected city. Oh boy! Congratulations! By joining the Council of Crowns, you have completed the game. You can continue to play as long as you want and wrap up any loose ends. On day 66, we completed Sort the Court. Well, I will leave this up to you guys as to whether or not we continue with the game from here. But I think that, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and do this so it saves. Oh, you're new. I'm Sir Tortuga, the Shell Knights. We fight for all that's good and righteous. Is there something uh, you might need assistance with here, madam? Sure. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, very good. We'll set out about it at once. We're a very helpful bunch. You'll see. I'm going to let that save. <laughs> and anyway... I think as far as things go, I can consider that completed. However, if you guys would like to see maybe another couple of episodes on this, I would love to do it. I have a ton of fun with the voices. I'm really actually happy we were able to get somewhere despite the fact that my game files corrupt. If it happens again, if you guys want to see videos, but the game file corruption happens again, I won't be able to continue doing it just because I spent more time on this particular video than any of the other videos combined. So it's just been, it, today was a rough one. I was almost considering not continuing this at all, but I'm glad we did. We actually finished the game and I had fun. Tell me what voice was your favorite. Tell me what, what character is your favorite. I would love to hear about it. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the series, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it because it lets me know how I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. And other than that, you guys take luck and care and have a wonderful day.